Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome! In today's video, I am going to show you some awesome items that just drive the point home why I keep on going back to the Dollar Tree to shop. So I hope you'll join me. What do you say? <laughs> Let's go! So the first items I picked up, these are brand name. So brand name items, when you can get them for a dollar, that is always awesome in my book. Look at these. These are the Speed Stick, full size. This is Surfside Rush and this is Sandalwood Smash. Now these are both 14.8 uh, fluid ounces of body wash. So not only did I grab these two, but I also picked up the Lady Speed Stick in Exotic Blooms. So I really like the scent of this. It's just nice and light, um, very pretty. And the same thing with these. The scents on these are nice and light, um, not really strong. So if you prefer a body wash that doesn't have a super strong scent, then I would say these speed sticks would be the way to go. But these are things that are great to grab right now. Put them away in a Father's Day basket or just, you know, whatever. Put them away in your stock for everyday use because an awesome deal for sure. So this next item I picked up was on my wish list. I was so excited. Look at this thing. So this is a bucket. It looks like a giant red Solo cup. So on camera, it's looking a little bit more orange, but if you guys are familiar with the red Solo cups, this looks exactly like that. It says that it holds 27 cups, so this is a good size. Now, it does not state that it's BPA-free, but I mean, you could always fill it with ice and put your bottled waters or canned beverages in it. Um, you know, I'm thinking this would even be fun to put away for to turn into a gift basket for Christmas or um, these would also be really nice because they're so sturdy and heavy to do all kinds of yard games so you could buy you know a bunch of these and do different um, like beanbag tosses for the summer or for parties. These would be great to hold water balloons. So my store had them in um, a few different colors, but I was good and I just got one on this trip. So I was really happy though to find that. I think it's absolutely adorable. And now speaking of adorable, ah, these next things I just could not resist. And let me tell you, I got a whole stack of them. So um, they're, they call them just, you know, party cups, but I like to use these for snacks or for ice cream in the summer. You get six in a package. Look at this with all the summer drinks, the pink and yellow lemonades, all the fruit themed. They even have the little striped straws that the dollar store carries. I thought that print was super adorable. And then here's another one. And these seem to fit, um, the plate and napkin themes that the Dollar Tree has out. I loved the design of that. And now if you saw my haul on Saturday, I hauled um, for my return to work, woohoo, <laughs> some plates and napkins in these patterns. Well, now I found the little bowls. Look at that. So originally, back weeks ago, I got the tablecloth that I used as gift wrap in this pattern. And then I found the plates and napkins. And now I found the bowls. So those, and I found the bowls in this white iridescent. So the same thing. I found the plates and the napkins, and now I have the bowls. So um, I don't know if there's cups out there. If any of you guys have seen the cups, let me know because maybe that would complete the collection. But I was really happy to find those. So I think now I am definitely stocked for the summer. Oh, and I also wanted to mention one of my subscriber friends 
had come up, I thought, with a very clever, fun idea that this little Dollar Tree sloth here, my little friend, could be my channel mascot. So I thought that would be fun, um, that the sloth could be my little mascot for the summer, because of course in my channel name, um, and long before my channel existed, my plus three are my little, uh, fur babies, so I like to consider them as my true mascots, but it'd be a lot of fun to have the little sloth be my partner this summer. So I thought it would be fun if you guys have any name recommendations for this little fella or gal, um, just leave them in the comments, let me know, and we can come up with a little name. I think it is absolutely adorable, so I thought that would be a fun idea. And on the line of fun ideas, I was really pleased to find this. Now, what I liked about this set, they're calling it Splash and Swim, Splash Catchers. There's the tack. So I guess the intention of this is to use it in the swimming pool because this is just a nice little fun um, squishy ball. But you know, what I thought is in our yard, we don't have a full size pool, but we have a little kiddie pool. And I liked that it came with the pair. So this will be something that we can play with the grandkids over the summer. Um, again, it only cost a dollar. The Dollar Tree has so many of these fun little outdoor and beach toys out right now. You know, you can go grab yourself, um, spend five dollars, have a really nice array to put away for vacation or to bring, um, you know, away with you if you're going maybe to a campground or to the beach or to um, grandma's house. So in any case, I picked that up. And then I also was really happy um, to find more of these. And so this was a on the wish list of one of my subscriber friends. So I was able to grab her a couple of these um, Recycle Me kits. I had hauled for myself some that used an egg carton. And so I really liked these. They use a toilet paper roll. And who doesn't have toilet paper rolls, right? So this one makes a plane. This one makes a car. Again, a fun little activity, um, you know, to do with the little ones. Or heck, do it yourself if you like. But for a dollar, I thought it's a great deal. And just, again, be advised, these come with all the materials to make the item except for the item that you will be using from your recycling. So for each of these kits, you can see you need a toilet paper roll, or of course you could, you know, use a paper towel roll and cut it down to size. But I was really pleased to find those. Oh, and also if anybody is interested, I figured at the end of this video, um, I would share my Ipsy bag. If you're not familiar with that, it's a monthly makeup subscription bag. I mean, I'm certainly by no means no sponsorship. Um, I don't have discount codes, but I know there are other people that are interested in makeup like I am. So I figured at the end of um, this video, I will just share it. So if you're interested, want to stick around and see that, um, I will do that. I also grabbed Kit Kats, of course, right? I am on a huge Kit Kat um, kick right now. So, and I got my little, uh, I don't know how little it is, my candy jar going <laughs> for um, my office space. So I grabbed myself these to go into that. And speaking of goodies, I don't know if you all can hear that, but that is the ice cream truck coming. Um, I don't want this video to get flagged for copyrighted music, so I better pause for <laughs> one second. All right, he's on his way. I'm sure many happy people in the neighborhood today. Oh, and that reminds me, I also wanted to share with you all the lipstick I have on today. I had hauled these just a few days ago, the um, L'Oreal Infallible Metallic Lip Colors. Well, this one is Moon Lust, and surprisingly, I really like it. Now, the funny thing is, with the tube, I thought this cap was going to 
screw off and it'd be like, you know, a tube you'd paint on like that. But it is not. It is a wand. So there it is. Um, you know, the application goes on nicely. But I was really um, quite pleasantly surprised with the color of this. The lipstick does have a little bit of... Um, like a flavor to it and it's a little bit tacky but that does kind of go away so um not my most favorite lipstick formula but the color is different and it's fun so um i would recommend getting these if you saw them i mean for a dollar you know for a dollar definitely worth it in my opinion all right, I also picked up more of the Be Fruitful strawberries because, again, if you've been around here for a while, you know um, we go through a ton of these in my household. I'm hauling them constantly, and then I also had to get more of the Columbia egg noodles. This is uh, 12 full ounces. My husband's on a kick right now where... Um, it's a dish, it's called the Poor Man's Polish Noodles. And you use a bag of these, um, half a small container of sour cream and um, some ricotta cheese, uh, some onion, butter, and pepper. And I don't, it makes this casserole that he absolutely loves. So really quick, easy recipe. And you know, you can do it uh, quite um, economically too. So needed more of those, so I grabbed those. That is everything I have for the haul. So if you um, are not interested in sticking around to see what is in my ipsy bag, then um, I want to thank you guys for joining me and I will have a, another Dollar Tree haul uploaded very shortly. And um, But now I will open the ipsy bag. So this is how it comes, just in this pink bubble mailer. And um, you get to give them like um, suggestions of the type of products that you like. And each month it is a different bag. So this one is really pretty. It's pink and floral. Has a little pull tab, Ipsy on it. And then let's see what I have inside. Okay, the first thing inside is the little card. We love moms. Flower power. So May 2021. And it has a card that is going to tell us about the products. So let's see. Here is the first product. This looks like, to me, a little eyeshadow. Here it is. A little eyeshadow palette. PYT Beauty Upcycle Eyeshadow Warm Lit Nude Mini. So it says, meet your new everyday, everywhere eyeshadow palette. Vegan and cruelty free. Deluxe sample. So that looks, that looks quite nice. So it's definitely look like colors that I would use. Um, and I've been doing this for quite some time. And if I get something that, you know, is a little bit beyond my comfort zone, or I don't think it's something I'm going to use, then I just pass it along to somebody else. Here is the next item. AM to PM Eyeliner in Black. Lottie of London. So it says, requires no touch-up, long-wearing formula, creamy gel-like texture. So that looks quite nice. And this is a full size. Um, and the suggested retail Price is $5.95 on that. So the eyeshadow was $28. This is $5.95. I want to say this whole little bag costs $10. Um, here's the next item. Sugar Cosmetics Matte is Hell Lip Crayon in Honey Rider. 
and this is a $20.99 value. So this looks quite nice too. A swipe of this Pinky Plum Lip Crayon. So that looks like something. So far everything in here for me is a hit. Let's see what this is. Glow On Fifth Glow on fifth, bye bye puffy eyes. So under eyes in need of a wake up call, you can use this. And this is a deluxe sample, twenty four value, twenty four dollar value. It says for that. And then the last item in here. Let's see what this is. All right. So it says hip dop, and this is a single blush in solstice. And this is $24. There's the blush. Ooh, really velvety. Just a really light peach. Nice and velvety. That's a nice little product, too. So this is the nice bag, which I really like the bag. And they have their little label inside. So I got a blush, an eye palette, the under eye get rid of puffiness cream, the full-size eyeliner and a full-size lip crayon so nice little deal I think and it's fun to get the little surprises and it gives me a chance to try out some different makeup so that is going to wrap up today's video I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me and until next time everybody please be well.